So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today this is a Pack-A-Punch tutorial. We're going to be learning how to turn on Pack-A-Punch in the map attack of the radioactive thing. Maybe some of you guys are wondering how do you get that cloud in the sky shooting down the orb where you can just run up to it and actually get in the Pack-A-Punch. I'm going to be showing you all three steps on how to achieve that today. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Kicking off from where we last were, turning on power, we're going to leave the power plant head in towards this area here where the freezer is and uh, that's where we're going to pick up the cleaver okay the cleaver is going to help us get melee kills up into a higher round okay so we're just going to replace our knife whatever's in your hand with the cleaver run up to this shark and you'll pull it out of its neck now every single player in the game can get a cleaver and i highly recommend you do that so it makes your life a lot easier when we're trying to unlock pack a punch this thing can do a lot of damage and you get achievements uh, for pretty much getting kill milestones. So you might as well do it and you get the XP while it's there, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to have to have power on, okay? And so I will have the power tutorial linked in the description box below. It'll be the top link there so you can check it out if you don't know how to get power. So the actual first step to achieving Pack-A-Punch is you got to take the leap by the doors all the way to the TV station. That's what this area is called and it's got the TV rig in there. You're going to speak to Elvira. And what this is going to do is open up that safe we took a look at in the ice cream shop. But if you do not activate power, this will remain shut. So if you're wondering why it's not working, it's because you haven't activated power yet. That's right, turning on the power at the power plant will allow that to open up even if you've already done it. So if you've went and talked to Elvara, it will automatically open once you arrive. You don't have to go do it again. So just come right back to this locker and inside will be the book that she's requesting. And that book will kick things off. That is the first, second thing technically that you have to do because the first thing is turning on power. So this is pretty much step two of Pack-A-Punch. We're going to place that sucker right there on that pedestal. You guys are going to have a really deep conversation. Don't get too far into it, but what you're really looking for is the vial. The vial is going to pop up and that means... We're back in business. We can do something with the vials, right? Well, we've got these crogs that pop up, right? These are around five zombies, boss zombies, whatever you want to call it. There is an actual brute crog, and he's terrifying. He actually took me down in this game. But these are the smaller versions. They come from the sky. They work. You need melee kills. But you can get these zombies that are glowing green as well. Those count as well. And we're looking at the inventory to make sure that vial is full. It fills up with some sort of black liquid. And when it doesn't fill up anymore, it means it's filled all the way. That's what you're looking for. You're going to go turn that back in to Elvara. And as for collecting parts, that's all there is to it, man. That is basically how you do Pack-A-Punch. But you have to come over outside of the TV station, and you'll see this orb glowing around. It's going to be sort of invisible. You lead her over there, right? Because she actually comes out and follows you around. Bring her to this spot, and she'll automatically perform the ritual, which will allow you to go inside the projection room. There is one more trick to this afterwards, and the way you can spot Pack-A-Punch in the sky. But since we're taking our first look into Pack-A-Punch, I did want to check out the left side of the wall just to see what was on there. And we do have a switch, and I think that switch is going to allow us to put in alien fuses to double Pack-A-Punch. There is a new addition now to the sky box, and it is a signal representing where exactly the projection room is located, okay? So when you look up and you know the magic wheel light is just shining in the sky, you know that's where the magic wheel is going to be. Now we also have an indicator of where Pack-A-Punch is moving. I believe this is an indicator to something greater, but for right now, that is how you unlock Pack-A-Punch in Attack of the Radioactive Thing. I'll see you in the next one. Filing out.